in this video we are going to know about the python conditions so we'll start with the if condition then we'll go for the while loop and for loop and other things so first of all python conditions and statement before going to going to the loop we need to know that what are the things that python can accept or what are the conditions that python accepts so first let us know what are the conditions and uh, which conditions can be used in the python so first is your equals okay so what is equals how it is written so a equals to equals to b so double equals is used here you cannot write a equals to b when you want to check a condition then always you have to write a equals to equals to b okay the second one second condition is not equals to okay so not equals to how it is written not equals to basically written a then exclamatory symbol then equals to b so here a and b are two variables which is declared before giving the conditions so this is not equals to this, this condition is checked when a and a and b are not equal next condition is simple less than equals uh, less than condition okay less than condition how it is given simply a less than b okay similarly there is also another greater than okay so uh, how greater than is written okay so greater than is written simply a greater than b so these are these are written that how it is checked how a condition is checked next condition is one more condition is there so that is your greater than or equal to similarly less than or equals to also so greater than greater or less than so greater than or less equals to how it is written so a when greater than less equals to written first of all we have to write the greater than or smaller than symbol or less than symbol and equals to so i'll write one by one so it, it will not be confusing either this one or so first one is greater than right so we'll write greater than equals to b or a less than equals to b so this is how the conditions are written in a while loop sorry in a uh, python so whatever loop you can use but this is the condition here so now let us just take a small uh, small example here example of if loop so we say that if loop okay so now let us just write example let me take one variable that is a which is equals to let's say some number 30 okay you can take any number another variable i am taking that is equals to let's say uh, 40 okay so you can take anything now i need to use the if condition so how to write the if condition so simply you have to write a check a condition whether a is greater than b or not okay or else whether b a is uh, greater than b or not a is less than b or not so now let us check if i check if okay if what is the condition i need to check if a is less than b then we have to do something so for that we need to give a colon here remember whenever a if for or any loop is written you have to give the colon here so see once i keep the colon and hit enter then the line will not start from the starting it will start from here okay so here what we need to do we are going to do we are going to do some operation if the condition is satisfied so for that i'll write print so what i what i need to print i need to print a string or a message and what is the message a is a is smaller than b okay now if this condition is satisfied then it will then the function will print that a is smaller than b so let us see we'll run the program and we'll see what is the output here So now we'll uh, get the output here. So now it is printing the message A is smaller than B. Now let me just uh, copy this thing. We'll, we'll copy all the things. Okay. We'll check another condition again. So I pasted it here. Instead of writing A less than B, I'll write A greater than B. And it will just run the program. So let us see what output is coming. 
so see here the code is run successfully but there is no output actually if a is greater than b then we'll print so it will not print anything because a is not greater than b right so this is how one condition works now there is some concept called indentation so here i am just editing it because uh, okay so something called indentation so this, this is very important in python what is indentation basically the when i give the colon and hit the enter then it is coming to the print statement right so let me just make the uh, this correct we will check all the if that is not correct then what to do we'll uh, see all the things first of all let us just see the indentation now after indentation if i write the print statement from the starting so it is saying then one error is there expected indented block that means you cannot start the print statement from here you have to start the print statement after one space here okay so that's how your indentation works now we'll see that with that if so now let us uh, see uh, if i run the code then what is the error coming here <coughs> so see here it is expected an indented block it is saying now if i just press a, a space bar here and we start here then if i run it again then there will be no error here again okay so this is how it works so next is the condition if let's say if i give uh, okay indentation error let it be here so we'll do it in the new block of code okay so next what we will see we will see here l if or else condition okay how to use the else condition here now the thing is that if the first statement is not correct then what will happen so here if i write here a is greater than b okay now the statement is wrong so if a is greater than b which is wrong then it will not print this statement right so in this case what will happen so here we can write something called el means else and if okay else if a is smaller than b then we'll write one print statement again so here also you have to write the indentation okay so here we can write the print statement again so print print what we'll print or else a is smaller than b so here i'll just change it to <coughs> excuse me sorry so here i'll change it to greater than okay now let us run it okay so here it is saying invalid syntax that's because else if should start from the here yeah so see here now two condition is being checked that if a is greater than the b then print a is greater than b if else if a is less than b then print a is smaller than b now let us just change it here i'll change the value of a and we'll run it again so you can see now it is printing a is greater than b that means the first statement is printed here okay so now this is else if condition how to get out of this uh, program and how to end the program so here to if you want to end the program so last sentence means uh, if condition if loop you have to end it then you can write else so else if is if you have multiple conditions more than two conditions if you have more than two conditions you can use l if if you have only two conditions you can write else also only so if i write only else here and here i will write print will print what a so third possibility is what a is equals to b right so now let us see we'll make it equal uh, here i'll write 40 again and we'll run the code so see here now it prints a is a is equals to b now if i make it 400 and if i run the code again so what is the condition what output a is greater than b so it should print a is greater than b so this is how this condition is used now let us see uh, if we have only two conditions then what to do okay so let me just uh, 
take this again so basically else condition can be used in two way one is your l if one is your l if one is your else now i'll just remove this one and we'll see what happens okay only two conditions are there and if i run this again so a is greater than b it is printing because a is 400 and b is 40 right so this is how it is used now also you can make it uh, something called sort hand if okay there is something called sort and if so what is this sort and if so in one line we can write a condition if then i give a space a is greater than b then colon and in the same line you can write you can write in this way also this is possible okay so print what we will print here a is greater than b we can print this message okay if i run this so this is also correct you can write in this way as well so next there is sort hand if else condition both the condition how to use in the single line so next is your sort hand if else condition okay now how to write this so let's say a a b is there so we'll write print in bracket so we'll just print the value here not any message print a if a is greater than b okay else print b so what i am doing here i am just writing a simple statement which we can read in english also right so print a if a is greater than b else print b so what what is the thing here whichever is larger number now it will print it so we'll run this code so now it is printing the value of a so let me just change the value of a and b let's see a i will take let's say 30 and let's say b i will take 300 okay 31 also you can take so if i run this code again now see it is printing 31 it is printing the larger number for you okay so next is how you can use multiple things means in one one line you can write multiple conditions you can write let us see that okay so here i'll write first i'll write print print what print a print a when when if a is greater than b then print a else print what print b okay again if a is not equals to a sorry a is greater than b is false then it will print b now if the numbers are equal then what will happen so then we can write one more if condition if a sorry a equals sorry a equals to equals to b we can write in this way else if a equals to equals to equals to b sorry not in this way so first of all print a if a greater than b else print b right so it will print that again after this if if this condition is not satisfied then if a is equals to equals to b then print sorry else print numbers are equal okay see here what is happening here is i have written print a if a is greater than b so a is not greater than b so then it is going to else print b but after that i have given a condition if a equals to equals to b if it is true or else 
print numbers are equal so a is not equals to b so what it is doing is in this statement so first statement is executed correctly that is fine but after that if you write one more if condition then it will overwrite the first one and it will only use the second one okay so now let me just uh, uh, if i write in this way again we'll see so how do you use multiple condition in one line that is what i want to say so let us just say uh, check that i'll take again let's say take separate value equal values will take okay let's say a equals to 30 and b equals to 30 as well if i make it same and then i want print a print a when if you have to give space if a is greater than b okay if it is not else print i'll just print equal or else print equal if a is equal to a is equals to equals to b else print b okay now let us see we'll run this code what is happening sorry error, error is there So see here print if a greater than b then else print so what is happening the last line was error but it was not showing error why because the condition was satisfied here at this point so it is not executing the other if conditions so now let us do one thing we'll just make the b larger and we'll see what is happening here again so it is printing the larger number again so if i make this larger then let us see what is happening so it is printing the larger number here so this is how you can write the code for a single statement a single line you can write the if else condition again okay so next let us see how you can write a condition for satisfying two conditions okay so let us just see that so next we will see multiple conditions in if statement so previously what we are going if a greater than b if a equals to equals to b so we are just giving one value okay one condition here but how you can give three conditions okay when you give want to give three conditions uh, let me take three variables here so with two variables giving two conditions means nothing okay we, we will see that okay uh, first i will take uh, a equals to let's say 20 b equals to let's say 30 okay and now let me write a condition with multiple things okay so if i write if a is greater than b or we can write or also to combine two conditions or a is less than b if either of them is true then what we can do then we can print a sorry we can print a is not equal to b so what we are doing so either a is greater than b or a is less than b if anything from this is true then we will know we know that a is not equals to b okay so like this you can give a or condition to the uh, to your statements okay so next is you can give and conditions as well okay so i'll just uh, copy this let me give a and condition here so if i write if a um, for and condition if i write here and that will mean nothing so we'll just take another variable here let's say c equals to 40 so we'll write if a equals a is greater than b and and b is greater than c okay so we'll make the condition true as well a is greater than b and b is greater than c okay with this condition we will try to run this so what is happening if a is greater than b and b is greater than c then you want to press, uh, print a message a is greater than c okay so like this we can give a multiple conditions in a if condition so 
if a is greater than b and b is greater than c then we can conclude that your uh, a is greater than c so this is how you can use multiple conditions in a if condition okay now there is something called nested if nested nested if or also it is called nested loop so this nested loop condition is also there for other uh, uh, loops there is while loop and for loop as well we'll see that later okay so nested loop is what nested loop means loop inside a loop 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 inside a loop in here what happens loop loop inside a loop means one if condition is there and inside that you are writing one more if condition so let us see that we'll just uh, let's say take one variable that is x equals to let's say 40 okay this is variable you are taken now we'll write the if condition if if what if let's say x is greater than 10 let's say some value so if this condition is satisfied if x is greater than 10 then what you will do then print we'll just print a message so instead of printing a message if you are using an actual function you can use your code here else do this or do this like this okay so print um, let's say uh, we'll write above 10 okay simple right above 10 next is if i write here if again x is greater than 20 okay so here i will give this one and here i can write print one message and also greater than I will explain why I am printing uh, what happens if you write two if conditions, what happens if you write if and else condition, okay, greater and also greater than 20. Then what we will write? Else, we will try to end the loop here, else print but not above 20 okay we'll change the values and i'll we'll try to see here so now what i am doing here if x is greater than 10 then it will execute this print statement again as there is no other else or else if condition it will again execute the this if condition as well so for this if loop so these are the two conditions it will be executed now when this if condition is executed so because of this this condition will again be executed and after that we are ending the loop with a else okay let us run this program what is there invalid syntax actually it was a indentation error right so when uh, this is here else should start here because for this if this else is written so this minor uh, things you should always notice now see the first message is printed above 10 and the second message is also printed uh, all and also greater than 20 now if i change this value let's say 19 if i make it now if i run it so x is above 10 but it is not above 20 so this is printing this message because this if loop is not satisfied or this if condition is not satisfied that's why it doesn't use this statement this uh, this printed this print statement is not executed and it came to the else condition so if else what happens either the if condition will be satisf satisfied or the else condition will be satisfied in that case either the statement written in the if will be executed or the statement written in the else will be executed okay okay so with this we will end this if uh, program here and in the next we will be discussing about the while loop so see the next video for updates